Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And today we are going to take a tour of the BenFast booth at CES 2023. Woohoo, let's go! First things first, we have the BF7. This is pretty exciting. Um, we have all the stats here. The range is 268 miles and that is WLTP. So we know that that's gonna be a little lower in the American market. Um, you can freeze frame them, all the stats over there, but it's pretty cool to see these up close and personal. Now these are available for purchase starting March, 2023. Um, hopefully they're going to be doing some of the sweet packages that they did on the other purchases, the NFT stuff and all that, um, which we don't know yet. And I just noticed the door handles are like on the Model 3 and Model Y from Tesla, which you don't like. I didn't hear what you said. The door handles, they're like the Model 3, Model Y, so they're yeah, not very accessible if you have dexterity issues. It would be cool to watch someone actually open them because obviously the Model 3 and the Model Y, you have to press it with your thumb and grab it. Is there anything that pushes out this door handle? No, I just watched them do it. Is oh, it we got then, it on no, camera. I really don't like that, yeah. And then over here is the VF6. Uh, we really like the size of this one. Uh, the yeah. range is uh, up to 248 miles. So again, that's WLTP. It worries me that if it's like 248 WLTP, that if we get that over here in the US with the EPA range, that might be down to uh, just over 200, which could be not enough for what we want. But for a lot of people that will work. Uh, I do like the, uh, the styling of the VF6 and the size. I think it's a great size. I particularly like this, especially for me. And I think that it is petite. I do like a petite car. I know some other people are looking for that. One thing I do know, the charging port on this front left quarter panel is really nice. Uh, some of the vehicles that we've seen, of course, with the charging port on the front, um, that could potentially be an issue if you get, if you rear end someone or whatever, but if that's something you've never done, unfortunately I have done that, um, then that could be a concern. I like the fact that the VF6 has actual handles, like Patrick mentioned, the 7 has those weird Model Y push out handles. These actually have an interesting indentation and it looks easy to grab nice and petite and obviously with the same then fast styling their i guess trademark v on the back <laughs> and it was uh designed by pinaferina i'm not sure if all models were I no think there are two sense. models that were designed by someone else and we, oh, don't we should remember this stuff <laughs> but we're uh, a bit overwhelmed here at ces but we're having a blast and we are just going to you know roll with it we're going to go through give you as much information as we can now the VF8 is actually coming to the US. I believe the latest I heard is that they were being offloaded. They have 999 here in the US for customers. So these will be delivered to customers we'll very, very soon. We'll have a little peek right here and look at these people sitting inside there. That's what looks like a pretty tall gentleman, um, both in the front and the back. And so we can sort of see what room they're taking. And this is uh, the front. I don't think I've seen the front just yet. So not huge, you can't fit any luggage in there, but you can store a few things. It has some nice little inserts there, uh, not sure. We do see these people in here playing with the screen. We did get to demo that. I think at the New York Photo Show, some of the voice prompts and everything. And then yesterday, we actually got a demo of What Three Words, which is functional inside the VF8. They are a mapping, a really interesting mapping program. and navigation system that's broken up the entire world into squares basically and they are being incorporated into the Vinfast vehicles and into 12 or 13 other OEMs currently. It's really cool and uh, we'll have that video coming out soon too. Now let's switch over here to the VF9. This is the largest of the Vinfast cars that are coming to the US. Uh, you can see it's actually a three row so you get your first two rows up here and then there's another row of seating in the back. So it's fairly good size. And then even with that third row, you, you still have a little bit of storage behind it. Uh, Liv's gonna see if she can put the seat down. Ooh. I think that was, don't put I the seat down. <laughs> the headrest first, then the seat down. Oh yeah, that that's the way our car sense. is. We should know yeah. better. <laughs> no, it's okay. I show Thank you things a lot of people might do, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, wow, that, it, looks, it looks massive right here. Oh, it really does. Three rows of seating. It is great to have more three row options, uh, which a lot of people are looking for. And these are, I mean, full seats. So 
Full and concise ease, yeah. Very, very good size. Now, something that they have not displayed before here in the US, uh, I don't know enough about these right now, but I'm very excited. They have some e-bikes and we are getting into the e-bike review thing. So hopefully, maybe one of these days we'll get to uh, do a review of at least one of these models. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see e-bikes. It's a new great form of mobility that's gotten very popular, partially due to the pandemic. But uh, I like the styling of these. It looks like uh, this one might be a little bit more compact. I'm trying to get views here. Uh, then the next one, it looks more like a like like an old uh, old fashioned like dirt bike scooter, big rugged fat tire, and then down there that's more my style, uh, like a hybrid bike, not not necessarily like a road bike that you can get. Let's walk down. I do want to actually draw attention here though. That one's foldable. Um, yeah, this is foldable as you can clearly see. That appears to be quite an ergonomic little handle in the middle there. So we can assume that this folds. Um, I imagine it folds sideways, um, so the both wheels on the bottom there, yeah. and, and obviously you have the uh, security for the battery back there, right? Yeah, it looks like you can um, lock the battery in, and then when you want to, you can uh, unlock it and pull the battery out. So And I, now looking at this really close though, can you see there's another folding grip um, on the uh, seat there, and there's one over here on the handle. So it, there's three points here that we're looking at right now that you can fold it sideways, you can fold the seat down. I don't think you fold the seat down. Bars, that's just a, that's down. the lower, yeah, like normal. But it's definitely, we can tell from this one that they're trying to make it compactable. Uh, I, like, <laughs> I like that. That could be actually useful, especially like on public transportation, definitely. or if you just, you know, want to buy a smaller car and be able to throw that in the, in the back. Uh, but these are the ones that I'm interested in. Uh, Looks like the battery is integrated into the down tube. Let's see, there you go. You can see it on that one. It doesn't fold or anything like that. Uh, fairly uh, decent sized tires as far as like the width. So it could handle, you know, like a dirt trail, but not necessarily rugged off-road. Uh, and these of course are pedal assist. It's not like just a full scooter. I'm really excited to see these. I don't know the pricing or anything. We're gonna try to get some of that information if we have like a website or any type of information, we will post that in the description. Uh, any other thought comments? I think we wait one second and see if we can chat with someone. Good thing we stopped because we got a whole bunch of info. I didn't even catch her name, but she helped us hear all about these bikes. And we found out they are not like slated to come to the US. They're actually doing a lot of market research, which I was like, oh, I was hoping it would be like this year. Um, and it could still be because this company is moving very fast, but I like the fact that they asked us uh, for design inputs of which one would we use and how would we use it. So um, I don't know if you can like submit that input uh, online to VinFast, but you know maybe tweet at them, message them, do whatever. Let them know what you're looking for in e-bike and what is missing from the current market. But overall, that's the, the tour of the VinFast. Um, okay. I do think it's really, really cool that they're doing that. Like these bikes are out here on display to get people's input, critical input, say everything you want to say. And I think that is a cool thing about VinFast. Oh. They're actually taking people's input and then they're going to incorporate that into a bike. And they've done that with their vehicles before too. And we want lots of your input. So yeah. drop it down in the comments. Let us know what you think about each of those designs, what you would change, what you liked about the colors, which one you would pick, all of that. Let us know and uh, who knows, maybe we'll find a way to get that over to VinFast and let them know. Um, and do the same thing with the, the different DF number and models. <laughs> model which number. one would you pick? Which color did you like out of the like copper E one or whatever? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is super exciting. Thank you. This is so exciting. And hi, what's your name? My name's Dave. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. too. Yeah. Welcome to the VF8 here. We have a little test track here just to kind of, it's not a real fast test track, but at least to give you a taste of the vehicle and check out the sort of low speed maneuverability, the turning radius. We do have one little area here I'm going to accelerate just to showcase. Ooh, nice. okay. So it's 402 horsepower. Whoa. And um, you're gonna feel it right now. Ready? Yep. Here we go. So it's a pretty good 
Makes zip, a little zip. That's yeah. good braking. <laughs> <laughs> so when you drive, when we switch seats and come around, this is cookie corner here, I call it. So they're going <laughs> to stop here. They'll take your picture, you guys. Okay. Uh -huh. And you guys will get a cookie. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> a little slalom course to kind of navigate through here. And then some bump strips here just to kind of feel vibration, harshness, and an angle lack too. thereof. Actually. Now you've seen it, now you're going to do it. All right. And we got a heads up display. Heads up display. Oh. And you can configure the heads up display if you want to add or take anything out, out of there. Like you can put your navigation on the heads up display. If you yeah. Want. Right now it's showing me speed, the speed limit, which yep. there is none. Mile per hour, yeah. yep. And uh, battery percentage. Yep. So give it some, yeah, or give it some throttle. Yeah. Brakes. Yeah. Brakes. Yeah. 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 Uh, now yeah. the most important part. Oh yeah, the cookie. Yeah. <laughs> cookie Good cookie. turning radius. Yeah, it does. Light steering wheel. Keep falling up. There you go. Alright, come on a little bit closer. Right there. There we go. Two, three, yeah, nice. Oh, you it, get to do the bumpy. It's sort of funny because like it's just a quick simple test drive, but you put some cones out here. <laughs> it makes it difficult, right? It's like, it's like challenging, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm like, I know I have plenty of room. But it's always that way, like, you know, you get an unfamiliar car. Yeah. It's like how big is the hood and right. whatnot. But it feels very maneuverable. Steering wheel does feel like really light, like very easy to make these turns. Yeah. You can feel free to take another lap if you want. Uh, yeah, I think we should. Yeah. Nice. Just go on through. We'll just keep collecting cookies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we have a Mach E. Oh, you do? What do you think of it? I, we love it. Yeah. Um, but like comparing to steering wheel, like steering wheel here feels light, so it's it's actually nice. Like maneuvering in these sharp corners oh, okay. is very easy to maneuver. Um, and of course, they're trying to go for the more sport Mustang feel with the heavy steering wheel. Right. And we got the demo yesterday. We were mentioning with what three words? Have you played with that? No, I haven't personally played with it yet. It's actually pretty it. cool. Yeah. Wait, can we do the voice controls? Uh, yeah. We can. Uh, what do you want to say? Uh, let's see. Hold on. Hey, Benfast. I'm hot. Our tagline is boundless together. <laughs> hey, hey. Benfast. Close the sunroof. Didn't hear me, did it? Hey, Benfast. Close the sunroof. Close the sunroof. The sunroof is already fully closed. Oh, oh. yes. Yeah. The oh, shade. the glasses. Yeah, she, oh, she's right. The shade. Close the shade, you could say. Um, I'm trying to remember how you activate what three words. Oh, well, we need we, a word. Like, just pull up the other red one. Yeah, yeah. Over there. Hey, Vinfast. Close the shade. Close the shade. Unfortunately, I can't help you with controlling blinds yet. <laughs> there we go. That's it, guys. Thank I you very like much. These, uh, controls. Yeah. That's nice, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a simple. Quick and easy way. Yep. Oh, yeah. Your computer screen here. With all yeah. The that Very is cool. cool. How all does your, this All your feel? camera angles. This is all your camera angles. You got different angles everywhere. Oh, wow. I like the individual selection See of the cameras. Yeah, yeah. And then the 360 surround. And it has the trailer. So yeah, you can trailer. actually pull a trailer with this. What's the trailer? They haven't capacity? said that yet. Okay. Oh. But my feeling is eventually, yes. You have a trailer icon, you might be. Yeah. Yeah, that's sneaky. That's so cool. cool. Yeah. That's nice really interface. Cool. Feels very snappy. So yeah. that's very, very good. And is that showing that someone's going by us? Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, just. Yeah, a car just drove by us. You could, you could go to different so. angles, right? This is yeah. right here, this side, and the front, what's in front of us, what's behind us. That's right. very cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah, yeah likewise. Yeah. Well, that was a cool bonus getting to actually drive a VF8. To be honest, it was really hard to tell, like, you know, the quality or how it's going to ride or drive, even, you know, accelerate or anything like that because it was so short. We're going to see if we can get like a longer test drive or even hopefully they'll do media drives at some point. But anyways, what did you think? I mean, to be totally honest, I was surprised that it felt nice. Um, maybe you guys, if you've heard much about how the VF8 drives, some people have been very critical, so I was expecting worse. Let's walk this way out of the sound. <laughs>
But like Patrick said, uh, we were on a very carefully made route, um, very slow, very slow speed. So yeah, we have to give it a close look to know for sure. But it's been cool watching the evolution of Vinfast. We want them to succeed because we want more EV options. And they're bringing five, so. And uh, also, we did get a QR code uh, which links to something. I'll put a, put the link down below if you have any feedback about the e-bikes. They are going to be looking for that info. So uh, we'll publish that down below as well. I think that's it. We got to get going to the next e event or interview. So um, <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to wrap this up? Yeah, let's wrap this up and we'll just say that... I don't know what to say. We don't have a tagline. We don't know what channel this is for. We make so, a lot of content. What do we say? We'll just say thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you haven't subscribed to EV Explorer, do that. Haven't subscribed to Mach-E Vlog, do that. And I think that's it. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>